Hello, hello my lovely friends. Straight on my desk this time and I'm coming to you with another flower making tutorial. It seems like this kind of videos I'm recording, they have most views and you're truly enjoying making flowers with me. So today is no exception, we're gonna make some flowers together and I promise you they are very simple as always. There is nothing complicated and I hope you will fall in love with flower making as much as I love making them myself. So let me just bring those flowers closer to you so you can see them. For me they look like kind of like a clematis flowers. Um, yeah I, I would say so yes uh, they like a clematis flowers. They are made with foam mirren and they made with two layers of foam mirren. I'm going to bring you closer four different colors so you can decide whatever color you're wanting to make yourself. So you can make a yellow, blue, light pink or a bit darker pink. And you can also make uh, tiny flowers as well with the same method what I'm going to demonstrate to you today. So it's entirely your choice whatever the colors you will make. Uh, the steps are very simple. So let's begin. Um, for this flower tutorial um, I will be working of course with Lady E Design dies and I have the flower 9 today. Uh, I will be working with those two dies from the set uh, mainly because when you will be cutting for a mirror and using the dies with uh, those vines then the foam mirror will slightly get cut off as well in those areas and it will be difficult for you to actually shape the petals so I would recommend those kind of um, dies for paper making uh, flowers or fabric making flowers but for foam mirror I really recommend you to use those kind of dies uh, when they are just open and you've got the shape cut out from um, the foam mirror. So I'm folding my foil mirror in two or three or four layers, depends what strip of um, length of the foil mirror I have and I'm just di uh, adjusting accordingly to desire, um, desire uh, amount of petals I would like to cut. Uh, so I will demonstrate to you today uh, how to make a larger flower and how to make a tiny flower. Uh, for flower uh, coloring you can use different mediums you can use for example soft pastels you can use gelatos you can use for example inks um, anything else whatever you think it will be um, applicable uh, then by your mean you've got the choice to use and work with I wouldn't recommend for example for formula and flowers using acrylic because when acrylic dries it makes it hard it makes it stiff so you won't be able to actually shape your petals but um, those kind of mediums what I've mentioned that will be just perfectly fine and today I will be working with this beautiful Kitsch Flamingo Distress Oxide ink this is really really nice and soft pink and I will also add a bit of highlights on the edges of the petals with the archival ink, the magenta hue. So let's begin. So firstly, what I'm going to do, I'm going to apply the Stress Oxide Kitsch Flamingo. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to just put my um, blending tool in the part, like so, get the ink on it and just pound on the layer like so. So you don't have to really... Uh, overthink this process uh, and the amount of the ink what you actually will take on your uh, blending tool uh, you can you can adjust it so you can just pounce just a tiny 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 layer lightly or you can just add more ink onto your blending tool like so but still if you pounce gently you will not over ink your uh, layers so um, many of you mentioned to me uh, in the message saying I'm always over inking my um, flowers and they are going to be too dark and whatever. you. So this is the technique I always recommend you to give it a try. Um, if you think you are heavy, heavy handed, then just loosen up, just loosen up, very, very loosen up and just pounce, 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 pounce. Then that way you will definitely not over ink your for a mirror and you will be able to have a beautiful color Hi, on your uh, for a mirror. Yes Hi, darling, I've got a bit of a disturption happening. Hello, hello, hello. So 
this is the way what we're going to do honey my doll because I've got hot tools here I've got hot glue gun and iron okay darling be gentle okay, okay. next step what I'm going to do I'm going to add archival ink so as you see I've added the ink on the both sides the top and the bottom but for the edges of my petals I only will concentrate on top of a layer of my formula so I'm just taking a bit of a ink on my blending tool and just concentrating at the edge of the petals there we go so let me just bring that closer so you can see so this is what we have we've got a lighter center and then we've got a darker at the edges of the petals like so so we're repeating the same process on all of the layers what we will be working on as you can see those steps are very easy to follow and uh, I really love making flowers uh, I find it really really relaxing and I really really found it a bit um, overwhelming at first when I started because I just couldn't figure out how to uh, work with formula and how to actually adjust the temperature on the iron <laughs> some of them went to uh, to the bin because um, I overheated them so you just need to try it and with working with the iron you just need to start with a lower temperature and then um, increase it uh, depends of the iron what you're using uh, you can just adjust the, the temperature accordingly uh, if you're using craft iron or if you're using the ordinary iron you just have to start with a lower temperature okay so it's nothing nothing to to really uh, be scared of anyone can do it so i'm going to just clean my desk a bit so i'm not going to um, add additional ink in places where i don't need so i'm just going to wipe this off and we're going to crack on uh, shaping our petals so i'm going to plug in my iron there we go got my iron so what we're going to do let me just show you so this is my ordinary iron and I'm starting with temperature on two dots if you start there then that is definitely the best way to to work with formula if you think your formula will not shave and will not warm up into the uh, desire um, uh, um, temperature then you can always slightly increase but don't go directly like you know far far away just to gently 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 add the temperature onto it so obviously I'm using the ordinary iron I have a steam off and working on the low temperature to begin so what I'm going to do first I'm taking a little layer first and just placing on the iron for a couple of seconds and when it starts curling up it will just release itself like so uh, sometimes you just have to a little um, a little bit uh, give it a help um, depends of like I said the temperature on the iron if it sticks to it uh, quite quite um, fast then that means the temperature is too high and this is what is also um, to be mindful when you're working with dark formula and colors uh, you have to just um, decrease the temperature to the uh, minimum I would say so if you start at the at the um, two dots you will be just absolutely fine so I'm gonna just um, shape my petals like so okay and the same process I'm gonna repeat on the uh, other layers as well so I'm repeating the same process on the other layer so I'm just attaching a tiny 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 uh, layer of my formula to my iron like so just to warm it up I'm grabbing all the petals together and just crinkle the edges of my petals like so okay so for the little flower I don't really do much work I just crinkle the edges of my petals then I straight them like so on my hand on my fingers like that and then I'm gonna just get my embossing tool and just press in the center and that's it okay now for the larger petals there is a little bit more work required but it's nothing complicated so as you see my formula is already 
jumped off from the iron. So I'm grabbing all the petals together and just rolling in my fingers like so. And the same process I'm repeating on the second layer just for a couple of seconds. That jumped off so quickly. There we go. And grabbing all the petals like so and just roll it in my fingers. Okay. So now I can just um, unplug my iron and take it away because I'm not going to need it anymore and I can start shaping my um, larger layers. So I'm just going to move my iron aside and start working on those layers. So I'm unfolding all um, petals like so and I'm going to grab embossing tool with the largest ball and gently press each petal on the ball, mainly concentrating on the center of my petal towards the center of the layer because I want to keep those creases on the edges of my petals. There we go. And then I'm going to just press in the center. So that's what I'm going to repeat on the second layer as well. So unfold it and then on embossing tool each petal like so. There we go. One by one. You don't have to hurry. You can take a time to work on them and just be gentle because as you know foam mirroring is very very thin um, foam so you don't have to just push it so hard. A little pressure will just do the job. So what we're going to do, we're going to grab our stamens and I like working with those kind of stamens because um, they go just really really with any flowers. So I'm going to grab one green like a sage green, one yellow and one pink for the little flower. So I'm going to add three stamens to it like so, just fold in in half, even them up like so, grab my wire, there we go, attach them and then I'm gonna go directly with my wire in the center of my layer, okay, just pushing it through like so. And now I need to add a bit of a hot glue. So I like to work with Sizzik hot glue gun because it has a pointy end and it's helping to control the amount of the glue uh, what I'm adding on. Now if you have any different preferences for your hot glue gun then by your mean you work whatever you have on hand, whatever works for you. I really like this, this uh, hot glue gun. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just push gently my petals up like so and just separate the stamens slightly so they will be just um, filling the, the center of my flower nicely like so and just push it a little bit like that. Okay so my tiny flower is ready Okay, what we need to do now is just cut the end of the um, stamens, the excess of the stamens, and we can just secure it with tiny, tiny, tiny dot of the hot glue, like so. And we can leave it in this position to cool it down. Okay. Don't um, burn yourself touching hot glue because you might end up with having blisters. So just be mindful. And I will do this exactly same process with the second little flower, like so. Okay. As you noticed, family is home, so I've got a bit of a noises in the background. I hope you don't mind that. Okay, so I have this, this um, stamens attached to the wire. And I'm going to just go with them in the center, like so. going to grab my hot glue 
I'm gonna get dressed up. Okay, you do that. Uh, add a bit of a glue, like so. And then just separate my uh, stamens, <coughs> like so. Mm -hmm, like that. There we go. Marcel's coughing a bit, as per usual. <coughs> As per usual. As per usual. So this is what we have. Let me just cut the excess of my stamens and attach a tiny, tiny amount of a glow just to seal my uh, stamens so they will not fall apart. So for the larger layer, I'm gonna grab two yellow stamens, three green and three pink. Okay, gonna even them up. <coughs> Half them like that. Okay, and then going to attach them on my wire. Okay, grab my little wire, get my stamens on it and I'm going to go through my first layer. So going through the center like so And now I'm gonna add a bit of a hot glue. Like so. Don't uh, add too much glue because it will be just um, very visible and we don't want that. Okay. So I'm gonna just put my put my uh, stamens down and I'm gonna just separate them to fill the center of my flower okay and I'm still pushing my um, um, petals up there we go like so I'm gonna grab this glue off okay and uh, I think I've got a bit of a Glue there. Yeah, that's okay. That's okay. There will be just extra interest on it. Or we can add the Nouveau drops um, to add extra, extra interest to it. So this is what we have. Then we're gonna cut the excess of the stamens. We're gonna position our layer firstly before we attach with the glue, just to make sure our petals not overlap, that our flower will have a nice and round shape, will look nice and full. And I'm gonna add a bit of a hot glue and go with my layer. Just hold into place a bit, like so. Just gonna Move my petals slightly. There we go. Okay. And my flower is ready. Let me just bring all of them. So that's the flowers I've made for you today. I hope you found it inspirational. I hope you grab the tips and you will be able to go away and create the flowers in the same way. Um, if you could give me a bit of a shout out, if you could share it with your friends, uh, post it in your social media to make it more visible. Maybe more, more friends will be actually benefiting from visiting my channel and grabbing the tips and ideas of flower making, maybe different um, art what I'm presenting, then I would greatly, greatly appreciate that. So that will be everything from me for you today. Kisses and love to you all. Until the next time. Bye for now. Take care.